Okay, welcome to another episode of Curtain Call Conversations. Very excited to be joined by a star of Greece in the West End, currently at the Dominion Theatre. We've got George Michalidis. He plays Sonny in the show. Welcome. How are you? Hi, thank you for having me. Very well, thank you. How are you? Good. Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Excited to chat to you all about the show that's doing really well at the moment in the West End. I mean, this is not the first sort of big show that you've been in. You were in Newsies, I believe, at uh, London's Troubadour Wembley Park Theatre, which was a sensational show. We'll have a little chat about that first, if that's OK. I mean, how did you find it? It was just a beast of a show full of incredible dancing you must have had a blast yeah newsies was one of those shows growing up that um i definitely wanted to be a part of it when i knew it was coming to um to the uk i was very excited to get to audition for it but i was still at college when it came about and stuff and i remember it was all the boys in our year at the time were um had like a pre-audition um right. at where i trained um and all of us were very excited for it and four or five rounds later and then the show happened and stuff it was a, an amazing experience yeah so obviously the audition process is long for that sort of show because the stamina that you must all have for that show I mean I did come and see it um I think it was either probably this January I think I came to see it and was totally blown away by the energy that you all had I mean how do you how do you keep that up sort of eight shows a week it's just one of those shows that you just um you owe it to yourself just to go like a hundred percent every single time you step onto that stage. And um, if, if you don't, you feel like you almost like let down this amazing show. Like there's no way about it that we became a very close family, especially the boys at like, very early on um, in as well, because even the auditions were, um, we did like the same routine, but it was over and over and over again to see how well we could handle that and how yeah. far they could um but it's just one of them shows that you just know straight away that um, before you even audition that if you're going to do this, that you have to like sacrifice your entire um, yeah. months of, you know, doing that process to really go all in. So Yeah, oh, it's definitely an all in kind of show. And it was it was a joy to see it um, at Troubadour Wembley Park. So from that show, you are now in Greece. I mean, it, that is another beast of a show. I mean, we all know how brilliant the film is. I have seen the musical version, not your uh, West End show, unfortunately, yet, but I'm hoping to get to it. So what's that like? I mean, what's it like? Well, first off, what is it like getting a call from your agent to say you've booked this show? I mean, it should be it must be massive for you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I remember auditioning for it. I was still at, um, at News at the time and uh, I just um, it's just such an iconic show. I remember auditioning for it as well when I was at college and things like that. And yeah, like, characters are so iconic and just the show and everyone knows the songs, the lyrics. And everything. yeah, so I always find it funny as well when we like have to audition and they go, okay, so you're going to sing, we go together and, you know, learn the lyrics to the song and everyone's just like, we already know the lyrics. <laughs> we know that, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, but, it's just brilliant, yeah. Yeah, and it's just, um, it's almost really hard to describe, oh, like, talking to people as well. They always ask as well um, how the feeling is when you get those phone calls, but it's just something really special. Like, I always mm. try to, um, just to not really, like, the first thing I always think of is just calling my family and telling my family. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll, my nan, my mom, I just every, everybody just gets very excited and you just try to just not get caught up in the moment and just remember those sort of memories because it, mm. it just, those conversations, those conversations just um, disappear out of your head because you just don't know what to say. But yeah, um, it's why we do it. It's the feeling that we get when we're on stage, those phone calls and et cetera. So. Yeah, I mean, the, the crowds are obviously very responsive to Greece because, as we've said, everybody knows the songs. But there are some new songs that you know, and not in the film. How is it, how are the audience reactions to those sort of new songs that they may not may not know? I think it's always a good res response as well, because even with the shows that, you know, I I've had family members as well that have been like, okay, we're going to go watch Greece and you almost feel like you know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But then you get, you get to a point when you're like, oh, this is a song I didn't know was existed or was associated with Greece, like Magic Changes with Judy and, and all these mm. things. And, and there is always, it's really nice because I think you just get that element of surprise, even though that you're familiar with the storyline and the songs, or so you think, with, about yeah. the show. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, what's it like sort of day to day for you, turning up every day? I mean, you, your warm-ups must be great. Um, is it a great team that you're working with currently? 
it's an amazing team. I've been very lucky with everything that I've been a part of so far in my career. But it's um everybody. I've made really good relationships and you know stayed in contact with it, like friends and just um you know people that are on these shows are just so wonderful. And there's there's a reason I think for it as well. And like the cast of team as well do take um I think that great caring um check in on who how these people are as well in their day to day lives and yeah. everybody down to earth and just ready to work and it's it's amazing yeah because you know it's a show that people just love to see and you want to put on the best show possible I would imagine so it, you know it is a family isn't it that you work with for for however many months you're with the show um have you how long have you been with the show um it's been uh since it's been a few a few months before about four and a half weeks left now so we're towards oh, the end okay. oh. of the run now so yeah um, oh, that's sad <laughs> Yeah, of course. It's always it's always sad to say goodbye, but we always say it's never a goodbye, and we always have to just. No, um, I mean you make friends, and you keep you know you keep friendships, don't you, with, with the many well, companies that you go to, etc. I mean, people will know. Oh, sorry, there's a bit of a sorry, sound issue there. I'm just, just going to say that just like the as well because you do really um, click with these people because you you go from like you just meet them, but you spend every day of every yeah. hour. With you have so much in common with them as well and like um it's really it's really hard to say the goodbyes and you always feel like you're ready to say goodbye to a show or to people when you know that it's coming you're preparing yourself that yeah. it's going to be but it's never easy um yeah no I'm sure it's not I mean you people will know that the show Greece does include two very famous Australians I mean what is it like working with Jason Donovan and Peter Andre I mean, as well, like for me, I, I'm the youngest in the cast. Okay. Um, so for me, as well, I mean, I, I obviously I've heard and they're amazing to um, work with and stuff. They they came in later in the process when we were yeah. with, like and stuff. Um, but to, uh, to to me as well, coming in and stuff, they just seem like two amazing like regular like dudes that just like yeah. um, they should like especially like as Peter. I spoke to more just because I was always interested in like. Um, like where how he grew up and his family stuff because also as a, I'm also Cypriot and yeah. Peter's Cypriot as well yeah. so we've had conversations about um you know hometowns and things like that and speaking Greek and things like that um, amazing getting to know them like that and just um sort of to have that behind closed doors conversations that um that I, I guess a lot of you know fans go crazy for so yeah absolutely I mean they're they are got a massive fan base the pair of them I mean I'm old enough to remember Jason Donovan the first time round. so <laughs> so for me I mean he's great I love him I think he's brilliant um in everything that he does um but as you mentioned there you're obviously originally from Cyprus so you came over um to the UK and only graduated last year so I mean you've been in two massive shows already so what what is the career path for you I mean what would you like to do I mean for me I, I just always sort of I um I grad I went to college at more of as, as a dancer and things like that and um yeah. I always wanted to get my singing and my acting um to par and things like that I always eventually the goal for me was always to make that step into a leading man sort of character thing yeah and and um I've been very very lucky and it's almost like you when you I always thought that you had to try and find that career path for yourself and just you know mm -hmm. you have an idea of what you want to do but it's almost like the the auditions will come yeah. and you and it will find you and what whatever's meant for you won't pass you by sort of thing so mm. and that's what that I've had and then just sort of hard work and um just try and do well in these auditions and then it's not up to me it's up to the casting team it's up to everyone that's auditioning so it's out of my hands so I'd not try to overthink it so yeah well oh, that that's a great attitude to have I mean because it's a business that's you know it can be ruthless sometimes so I think if you just go with the flow and do your best and you know you don't know what might, might be around the corner so it's very exciting um so what um what sort of took you into performing in the first place and where did your love of that come from um I mean being from a um, and my mum was um, in the industry okay. and uh, he uh, went to still be young as a kid and then okay. on his studio centre um, and then she she had a, a career and stuff but quite early on actually I remember she she told me she sort of like went on a holiday because she, in our family she's also Cypriot and they used to okay. go on family holidays and um, she met my dad um, she fell in love and moved to Cyprus and gave it a love. Okay. And, uh, but just as a kid, I remember just growing up, like singing and dancing, 
you know, with my family, quite um, musical family. Um, yeah. And she, I, I wanted to be a lawyer actually when I was a little kid. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, to, I don't know why. I, I, um, it was just one of those phases. And then I um, I started doing, she started taking me to break dance classes at a local school because I wanted to learn how to do tricks and cool things and mm. stuff. And yeah. I, re- I remember the conversation, I must have been about nine or 10. And I said, I wanted to do this as a career. And she uh, had like, this business conversation with my mum and girl when I was like nine, ten. Yeah. And we well, need to do ballet, you need to sing, you need to do tap, you need to mm. do all these. And, and eventually she opened up her own school and she has her own school in Cyprus. Oh, and, wow. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, flew people from the UK and all over and she trained me and and then the rest just sort of happened. So. Oh, wow. That's a great story, though. I mean, how wonderful. So she's, your family are back in Cyprus, are they? Or Yeah, you, yeah. My whole family still still live in um in Cyprus, but my sister is now second year at college right now. She's done the same thing, flown over and oh. studied right now as oh, well. I so. see. So she's got the bug as well. Yeah, we yeah. all want to do. <laughs> all right. So going back to Greece then, what do you have a favorite bit of the show that you're in? There's so there's I mean, I really loved in the um as we were doing the uh the, the rehearsals of the show and stuff and the whole build up into the whole because news is as well it's such a really strong dance show yeah I really make the scenes and part of the um you know link this scene into this into this routine into this moment in the show yeah. and I really love the opening into the whole um summer uh, summer nights then goes into the the girls bedroom scene goes into the penny pitching into grease lightning and that whole section I think when we come on after penny pitching into Grease Lightning, into Office of Miami when we get in trouble with the police, into that yeah. that whole section of the show is one of my is one of my favorites. Yeah, I mean, people that probably haven't seen the musical version, you're not called the T Birds, are you? No, we're called the Burger Palace Boys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which was the I think it was the original name, but that didn't make it into the film, did it? I'm not quite sure yeah. of the of the reasoning behind that, but it's an interesting thing. So I always remember going to see the show and thinking, oh. Shouldn't they be called T-Birds? I'm sure a lot of other people think that as well. Um, so people that would love to come and see the show, let them know why it's such a great show to come and see in the West End. I mean, everybody loves Greece. It's such an iconic show. Everyone knows the songs, the lyrics, the, the storyline, but there's also a few surprises and there's also a variation of the way that we do the show and a few um, surprises along the way, which I won't spoil with because you have to come see it. Yeah. Um, You'll have your promise an amazing night out and you will love it. That's brilliant. And, and when is it finishing in the West End? It's the 28th of October is the last day. OK, like. so not long left. So people have still got opportunity to come and see it. And I'm sure they can get tickets over on the Greece website. Thank you so much for your time, George. I really hope you um, enjoyed the chat and I hope you have a great show tonight. I know you've got to go and have a warm up soon. Um, so all the best for the rest of the run. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. All right. Take care. See you later. Bye bye.